quickly take you back to 2016, where one side on the Eden Gar at Eden Gardens, Ian Bishop asked us to remember a particular name, and we did. In the same year, in the Under-19 World Cup, a young man by the name of Veera Handike Inol Avishka Fernando was playing an innings of 95 of 96 balls in the quarter-final of the Under-19 World Cup in Dhaka against England. That's the time a talent was unearthed. Today, we truly saw at the senior stage what it was just made of. Now let me come to my experts in the studio, Zahir Khan, Robin Uthappa, to see exactly what they thought of this young man who has now blossomed. Yeah, I've been going gaga over him from the time I saw him bat in the first game. So for me, I think I'm really happy uh, that he's got a hundred and you know, I think he's a player for the future, like I've already said. But I also think that he'll be one of uh, you know Sri Lanka's mainstays after Mahela and Sangha. I think he's someone that uh, who can actually play that role for uh, for Sri Lanka. And Sri Lanka need that one, uh, need that need that uh, that role to be performed by somebody. And he seems like the man for it. And um, you know, if he if he goes in the same way, he might be uh, you know down for some greatness down the line now. And you could hear Sangakara on commentary how desperate Sri Lanka are to find a replacement almost for those legends and how relieved he sounded watching him walk out there. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's great to see someone uh, making that impact, you know. The, the, they've won a series in South Africa as well, you know. So, so that's something which uh, they've, they've done well in, in, in test matches. In terms of talent, uh, uh, like we've always been saying and, and I've maintained with, the, with Sri Lankan cricket, the talent is there. You know, just that the fact uh, which, which is uh, not happening with, with Sri Lankan cricket is, is that uh, giving youngsters a long run. You know, you've, you've seen in last two years, there are so many players who've been tried and, and, and you still see those some old faces which are, uh, which are still, uh, still around, particularly with, uh, with, with batting. You know, you, you had someone like uh, Gunat Tilaka also making that impact in, in, uh, in, in, in uh, Champions Trophy for Sri Lanka, reviving their campaign in that uh, tournament. And uh, uh, Fernando is also, you know, on, on the same lines, you know, he has, he has everything what, what it takes uh, to be successful at this level. It's just about how you shape up and how your association also, also packs you, you know, so, so Cricket Sri Lanka also has, has, has uh, got a huge uh, role to play here in terms of, especially post World Cup, because now we know that, okay, uh, th their campaign is, is uh, pretty much over, it's about future planning uh, who who can step up you know they've identified a skipper now who is who is a young skipper they're seeing him as a leader now who else you know just just uh, a captain alone is, is not going to be able to uh, do things for uh, any team so so they have to give him the bunch of boys who who can uh, who can rally around him and uh, and under his leadership uh, go forward so i think you know from that point of view uh, someone like uh, fernando is is going to go a long way in terms of taking uh, that uh, that Sri Lankan cricket forward because in three matches in, in World Cup, he has suddenly uh, grabbed everyone's attention yes, and, and that's, that, that's very important. Robin, we see the 49, we raved about him that day, we saw that the talent was there on show at Headingley. But when we moved up north to Chesterle Street, or not actually up north, a little bit uh, east, we now see that the talent has, you can add the temperament to the talent to stay there and make the 100. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, you know, like you were saying earlier on in the show that you know you just want, like sometimes you just want to give a rap on his, on his knuckles. But he's 21. He's going to make those mistakes, and those mistakes are going to hold him in good stead moving forward. Because if you go all well, then you know when when failure hits you, because it's going to hit you. When when a down, when a slump hits you, then you don't know how to deal with it. So it's good that you know he's experiencing all of these things uh, in in conjunction, so that you know for him moving forward will be an easier easier path. You know. For me, when I look at the Sri Lankan batting order, you know, it looks like the first three are set right now. I wouldn't want to mess with it for the next couple of years. And I really hope Sri Lankan cricket really take a note of the performances and, you know, stick to this group for the next, you know, two or three years. Because everyone's young, you know, they have, they, they have age on their side and it's about nurturing those youngsters, giving them a sense of security within that group to go out there and perform, to make them feel a part of that family, you know. You know, cricket, when, when it's played as a, as a, as a, as a big group, as a, as a family, you know, you just can produce so many results. And, and I'm sure Zach Bai will, will speak from experience, I can speak from experience on the fact that when, when teams have won, it's, you know that it's, it's, there's a sense of well-being, there's a sense of family within that group and that's why the team goes on to win. And you really hope that Sri Lankan cricket can create that kind of an atmosphere so that these guys can come through the ranks and really produce results for, for Sri Lankan cricket.